the kids are off to school and uh, not much for me to do today so we gotta take the old vanitarium out for a ride and uh, hit the woods I haven't been out in this area for quite a while uh, this is Boardman Park in Boardman Ohio place is really nice um, come out here often with my son and uh, used to hike out here with my daughter she doesn't come out as much anymore but used to hike with my son all the time he really likes it out here this is where you find a lot of the deer so uh, I was going to take a different path back there which is a little uh, shorter than this one but there is a uh, over couple walking and I didn't want to try and have them speed up or speed by them and be filming and talking while they're on the trail so eh, take a little longer one it's a little ways over no big deal but so like I was saying I used to come out here a lot with uh, Caden and he he is the one that's excellent at spotting the deer you know I'll be talking I remember one time I'm like hey look look at that woodpecker over there and he's like yeah daddy look over there and there's like two three deer Staying there, I'm like, oh, good eyes, boy. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, I have not been out here for a while, and I really wanted to get get back out here. I mean, this place is awesome. I mean, it's pretty much like right in the hustle and bustle of everything of the town, and uh, you still have this nice, big, beautiful area to just come and chill out in and get away from all that. You can still hear everything, but not too bad. It's still nice out here. And uh, who knows, hopefully we'll get lucky and see some deer. So uh, before, when the kids lived in Boardman, um, this would be, ooh, hold on, I'm gonna turn around and look what I just saw. Hold on. Hopefully you guys can see them really good. You got two fawns. Let's see. One of the little fellas right there and one right there. I wonder if mom is around somewhere. It's pretty cool. See if I can get a better view and get a little closer. Well, I did get a little closer. See if I can zoom a little bit without blurring it too much or anything. Well, that's about it. Yep, so that's pretty cool. I don't see the mom around. And these guys are just sitting here hanging out. Don't seem too scared. So I don't want to get too close and mess with them. And I'm just going to let them hang out and chill. Well, you got these ones here. You got two of them right there. These pretty little things looking right at me. And the other little one's getting up. And as I was walking, right over in this area here, there's another one laying down in there. But these guys are up, checking me out. Well, all right, folk, right smack in the middle there. I do believe we found Mama. I think that's the, I think that's the doe. I think that's Mama deer, hanging out over there. I don't want to get too close and bother these guys. I want to let them hang out, and do their things. Yeah, so anyway, so look, that was pretty awesome seeing the deer. Um, yeah, I think that was, as I got closer, it looked a hmm, little chipmunk running by. But uh, I think that's definitely the doe. I think that's the mama with the, the fawn sizzle away, away from her. <clears throat> but um, anyways, like I was saying, this place is awesome. And it always happens. We, a lot of the times we see the deer. There's squirrels here too. They're awesome. Those are the, they got like the red squirrels. And they got the black squirrels. The black squirrels are just 
harder to get to relax and get on on film where the red squirrels are a little bit more tame they come closer but uh anyways should have been out here doing all this stuff for a while but i gotta be honest with you i think after the whole garrison nonsense when that blew up that's the first time ever that i have uh i mean i broke down and, and been able to get get it taken care of but i've been close to home this is the first time that i broke down and uh i was on the highway i mean that thing just clunked out and wouldn't start this and that had to get towed and that's the first time that's ever happened to me and you know you know things things are all right i mean the garrison's long gone now but anyways uh i think i'm a little gun shy after that um you know scared uh, the van vanitarium is gonna break down there or something like that and, you know so now i'm like extra nervous as to where i was never like that before i was like yeah something might happen get it fixed okay but now another aspect you gotta look at is that your home so you're breaking down and especially if you're in the middle of nowhere you have to do something because all your stuff is in it so you know it, it could be nerve-wracking but i am i'm a little gun shy but i'm starting to drive around more and her she is running good uh still a few issues here and there but she is running well so god willing everything goes fine but um anyways so i'm just going to walk around this beautiful area enjoy it and hopefully see some more animals and uh, get them on the tree guys later folks And uh, since I'm out here in the woods, I was thinking of this, uh, it's a funny story about my son. He uh, recently got the video game Hunter Call of the Wild, and uh, he likes playing it. But, you know, Hunter the Call of the Wild, and you're going out, you're hunting animals, you have different areas, you can, you can purchase different maps to go to different places that have different types of animals. So, uh, now... Every time he's out in the woods or he's driving in the back, like he's in his mom's car and they're going somewhere and he's in the back seat, he's like, Yep, yeah, saw a black bear. I'm like, Oh, yeah, he saw a black bear, huh? He goes, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yep. Saw a bunch of deer, there were two of them fighting. Then I saw another black bear, he was eating a carcass. I'm like, Wow, you saw all this on the side of the road on your way to Connecticut going through Pennsylvania. <laughs> hey, you never know, maybe you did. But uh, I think he gets into the video game and uh, brings it out here and his imagination gets the best of him. And he's, you know, want to tell some cool stories of seeing bears and everything. But I've been out in the woods for so dang long and I am dying to see a bear. I would love to see a real bear out in the woods in its elements. Not in a cage, you know. That would be awesome. But whew, anyways, let me get on with this walk. Well, folk, we got another one of the black squirrels. Uh, he's pretty mad. Um, he was just out here, and uh, somebody walked by with a dog, and then he ran up the tree, and he's just been yelling and hollering since. <laughs> so, anyways, we'll just leave him alone, let him go back and do his thing.
Well, hey, folks, all right, we got back and uh, we're parked. I'm going to turn this fan down a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so we're parked. And uh, I stopped off at the dollar store, uh, got some of the fine dollar store cuisine. But uh, my, my son likes the uh, little spring rolls they have there. And bummer they didn't have any. But uh, I figured the heck with them, I'm going to leave it empty handed. So I uh, got myself two of those cheeseburgers and some bacon. So I have bacon cheeseburgers today. Got that for three bucks. And I got myself a thing of Arizona sweet tea. So four bucks, not a bad little bill. But um, anyways, like I was saying on the uh, on the trail out in the out in the woods, oh, it was so awesome seeing the deer and the squirrel. And everything. It's good to it's good to be slowly getting back out there. But um, I am I'm, I'm very gun shy. I'm, I'm just getting back out there doing what I gotta do. Um, that really did freak me out. Um, break it down on the highway like that. Um, a, it's just breaking down like that out in the middle of nowhere, and, and you know it, it, it's a little freaky. But also, like I was saying, I have so much stuff to do. <clears throat> and it's not like I can just leave it behind, you know? So, you know, if anything like that happened, and then, you know, with the, you know, with that having to save back up again, if anything happened to it bad, it would be a while until I got another one. So, uh, you know, God will. You just got to hope and pray that everything goes good, you know, for a while. And uh, anyways, I am parked. I'm going to cook those up. We'll straighten her out a little bit more in here. I've been slowly but surely doing that. And uh, just wait for the kids to get back so I can go and say hi to them. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. But until then, don't forget, always forward to the next adventure. The vlog is down.